Hello there, welcome to an update on two little trees that probably haven't been featured for a couple of years now. Uh, 2015 we bought a handful of supermarket trees. Um, about basically about a year later we start to see dwindling in health. Now these two were both about two foot, two and a half foot tall trees, quite bushy. But after about a year they just sort of started to get some sort of disease brown or black branching had to be pruned off and that was a battle for about two years having to constantly prune back until there was basically nothing left of the trees um, whether it was persuader bonus infection or particular wilt I'm not sure but literally the trees were pruned back to basically six seven eight inch stubs and I'll show you the now this is a palmated butterfly, this was the main trunk here, there was nothing here, it was just literally pruned back because the top wood was dying, and this is Ace of Palmated Benny Mako, excuse me, I'll try and get in, now this was pruned back to here, so basically 6 inch, 8 inch stubs on both trees, and I was literally going to throw them out. I'd put them on the, the patio in the springtime. But for a good several weeks, nothing happened to them. Um, and I was I just never got tied, tidy up. But early summer, I started to see shoots on the both little stumps. And I thought, oh, well, there's life in them now. I'll give them a bit of time. The both slowly come back. And that was a good few years ago three or four years ago possibly and this is how the trees are doing today it's a Benny Mako it's more of a, a wider spread tree this one I have quite a lot of leaves and as you can see it's doing okay there's a few leaf issues here and there but it's that time of year and looks like some sort of insect damage. Now Ace of Palmatum Butterfly sprouted two shoots at the back of the, the stump that was left and then two stumps have become the, the new stems. And I've literally tried to train this up to on a piece of bamboo And I'm quite happy with it. Both trees were repotted earlier in the spring this year and the coarseal root and powder added to the root ball. And as you can see it's lovely pretty colours. It's like a yellowy cream that tinge to the darker green leaves. And I'm quite happy with that one. I'm trying to train that one to a very Cylinder column type tree. I wasn't really fussed on this one as a bushy tree. But the Moab seen it every year recovering. I'm glad it's doing well and I'm gonna experiment trying to train this one quite tall and quite thin. Let's see, I'm just letting the Benny Mako grow until it finds it a little bit more shape to it. So basically I'd give up the the ghost of these two trees. I thought they were literally completely dead. But, but they have come back sort of miraculously. And that's how they're doing today is of the 4th of August 2021. Now the butterfly tree is at least two and a half foot tall now, reaching nearly three foot. I've got the butterfly in against the, the fence on the semi-shaded side and I've got Benny Makeover under the garnet tree on the full sun side. 
So I've just tried them in a different spot this year, and they seem to be happy with those spots. So I will update this video as the season progresses. So there's always hope if you've got trouble trees. Anyway, bye for now.